Dr. Stonehill. Yeah. Harrison Ford has become in many ways the quintessential American hero. But his latest role in CBS Films' Extraordinary Measures sets him on a different kind of crusade. Stonehill's a guy from uh, the middle of Nebraska. He's a guy who uh, had two wives, because uh, he's not the easiest guy to get along with, who drives a pickup truck, drinks beer out of the bottle, watches football games, wears cowboy boots, goes fishing, and basically is not a very social character. Ford plays Dr. Robert Stonehill, an unconventional research scientist who helps a father find a cure for his young children's life-threatening disease. In both kids, it's the heart that's the real threat to their lives. How much more time do we have? Megan, maybe a year. Patrick, less. It's inspired by the incredible true story of John Crowley's desperate quest to save his children from a rare, life-threatening genetic disorder. Crowley risks everything and quits his corporate job to pair up with Stonehill to develop a cure. This I could identify with being a parent, any parent can, because it's a story about absolutely taking any measure that you can in order to achieve the result. Stonehill is both an aid and an obstacle to Crowley's goal. Nobody is going to tell me how to run my lab. Dr. Stonehill likes to be alone. He doesn't like people necessarily. One of the interesting things is, uh, is that, you know, we have this expectation of what a, what a scientist is. And I wanted to be appropriate, uh, but I also wanted to be idiosyncratic. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create a character that was more at home in academia than he was in the presence of a patient with Pompeii disease. He's a guy who sees the disease on a cellular level, who has probably never met a sufferer of Pompeii in flesh, because that's not the way his mind works, and that's not what he's doing. He's creating an enzyme in the laboratory. Ford's character is based on a composite of the many doctors and researchers who helped Crowley along the way. And Ford tracks some of them down to do his own research. The equations on the whiteboard and some of the scenes, Brendan said, you were so serious and professional about how you approach a film, he said that those equations are actually accurate, that you spent a good deal of time wanting to understand the science. It was important for me to have a detailed knowledge of, uh, of what it was that I was talking about. And that's my process, whether I'm playing a police officer or a lawyer or uh, anything else. Well, don't get your hopes up, kid. Say, 